We just finished watching Russ and Carrie on the roads we roam, and we mentioned that we were cooking um, a cherry cobbler in the Dutch oven. So come on and join us on our adventure. Hi, I'm JT. And I'm DT. And these are our adventures. Join us as we travel, as we help our community, and just enjoy life. This is my recipe for cherry cobbler using a Dutch oven. This is a 10 inch Dutch oven from Lodge. First I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. This helps to make sure it doesn't stick to the oven. Generous spray there. And next a can of cherry pie filling. I think and, that's a 16 ounce can. Ah. And just dump that in there. So if it doesn't dump right away, just go ahead and scoop it out and get it all spread on, along the bottom there. This is one of my favorite recipes I've been doing most of my life. But I think I, I learned this in Girl Scouts. I don't remember. I've just been doing it for so long. It's a perfect recipe for the fall. Here in the desert, I, it's just too hot to to do stuff like this in the summer. But it's just right. The, the temperatures are cool and... This is a great camping meal also. Um, you know, if you're up in the cool mountains and that, it's a, it's a, a great meal to warm you up. Next is the white cake, white cake mix. This is probably one of the cheapest white cake mix you can find. I think it's the best you can get for a dollar. Yep, there. <laughs> so just sprinkle that right in. And try and distribute it uh, evenly as much as possible. And I'm not patting it, I'm just kind of uh, breaking up some of those those lumps there and spreading it evenly. Next is just a can of 7-Up. Uh, um, we have a bottle of 7-Up, so I just poured a cup or whatever, 12 ounces? Yeah, 12 ounces. Um, into a measuring cup here and just pouring this right in. A can of Sprite works just as well as 7-Up. Yeah. So any of those lime sodas is pretty good tasting. Okay, just move everything to the side here. And last thing to add is the topping. And this is a stick of butter and... Half a cup of brown sugar. Now, it is pretty sweet, so if you're not big on, on a really sweet recipe... Um, yeah, I'm, you might want to omit that brown yeah. sugar, but that butter really makes it taste good. So it's it's one delicious. Yeah. I... Um, I have to admit, I, I have quite the sweet tooth. So it's one of my favorite things to do. So look at this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just get that all mixed up. Delicious. Such an easy recipe. And go ahead and um, just spoon, spoon, little spoonfuls in all around the yeah, that, that butter didn't uh, take long to soften out here in the the 95 degree heat. <laughs> Look at that, yummy, yummy. And once the the oven it has the charcoals, it'll it'll all mix together. So I'm trying to be artful about this, but it really doesn't matter. It all works. Just finished getting all this in there. Yummy, yummy, look at that. Can't wait to see it all done. All right. Just that last bit. Such as easy cleanup, too. All right, JT. This is all ready for you to take over and do your part. We're going to uh, start with some charcoal. And we just have a little chimney starter that we put the charcoal in there, a little uh, um, charcoal fluid, and get it going. To make this, we actually use a specific number of charcoals. On the bottom, we put 16 coals down there. Then, uh, when we put the uh, Dutch oven on there, you'll notice that we put about a dozen on top. I've been told that a uh, charcoal, one, one coal, 
is equal to about 25 degrees. So um, I'm not sure what that comes out to. Here we are after, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes uh, to an hour. We're just checking on it. We have a little lift hook. Um, it's important. It is kind of heavy. Yeah, use two hands there. It not, looks like yeah. it's pretty close to being done. It'll start pulling away from the sides. You'll notice mm -hmm. that uh, DT twists it uh, 45 or 90 degrees. That's going to help uh, the top brown a little bit better. Also, the coals, there's still a lot of it there, so we're going to let it cook for a little bit longer. It's kind of a uh, just an easy recipe. Okay, uh, When all the again. charcoals are done, it's done. Here it is. It's done. Look at the sides there. Can't Ready wait to, to serve. Yep. We're just using those uh, paper boats that uh, you know you get nachos and, and hot dogs in. We keep a supply of those in the, yeah. in the camper with yeah, us. Yeah, with all well, plus with all the track meats and cross country meats. Look at that, yummy, yummy, delicious. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. And it's ready to be served. All right, here's the moment of truth. How did the cherry cobbler come out? Nice and warm. Cherry, it's delicious. Mm -mm. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our uh, adventure today. Um, if you did like it, press like. Um, and maybe subscribe and um, we look forward to more adventures with you in the future. Bye for now.